very difficult for a lot of people to manage. I'm here to make the transition easy. Hey sis, what was the mail doing on the floor? I don't know, a bunch of it flew off the table when I brought it in. And when I picked it back up, the college letters- You mean this? I, I don't understand. These were completely covered in weird drawings and markings and- I I'm serious! Alright, well, what kind of markings? Um, how did that happen? I gotta go clear my head. Amanda, wait! Good afternoon. Um, hi. Sorry if I frightened you. Oh, no, you're all right. I just don't normally see anyone around here. Beautiful out here, is it not? Yep, sure is. So, are you the new neighbor, or...? How rude of me, I apologize. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Salem. Salem? Like Salem, Oregon? I suppose so. And you? Oh, um, my name's Amanda. Amanda, as in Amanda, Ohio. Oh, I didn't know there was an Amanda, Ohio, but sure. Really familiar. Have we met before? Well, I'm sure you've probably seen me around. Yeah, maybe. Well, Amanda, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, yeah, it's been nice to... Amanda, come on, you're freaking me out! Where was, was the man? Wait a second, you saw him too? Yeah, he was over there like five seconds ago. Where did you see him? He was down at the end of the property. I, I talked to him for a bit, but then he just vanished. Okay, this is getting too weird. I'm calling mom and dad. What are they going to do? They're hundreds of miles away. Besides, do you think they'll be very pleased with us interrupting their vacation to tell them that our house is haunted? So you do think it's haunted? Do you not? I don't know what to think, but if that is true, what do you suggest we do about it? Hello, 
This is Nathan from Stafford Paranormal Investigations. How can I help you? Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm calling because my brother and I believe our house might be haunted. Bummer, man. Oh, what sort of a phenomenon have you experienced? Well, we've seen a few things thrown around the house from seemingly nothing. And we've both observed a strange man who looks real enough but disappears in the thin air. Wow. Yeah, I think it's safe to say you've got a ghost on your hands. So you can take care of it? Uh, what do you mean? Can you get rid of the ghost for us? You know, use salt or something and ward it off, like on TV? No, I, I, I don't really do that. I don't get rid of ghosts. What do you mean you don't get rid of ghosts? Isn't that your job? Uh, no, it's not. My job is to give you my professional opinion on whether or not you're dealing with a paranormal entity, which it sounds like you definitely are. But I can't just like, strap on a proton pack and come in cleaning up all the spirits in your house. I mean, come on. Be realistic. <sighs> Whatever. Hello? Hello? You owe me 35 bucks for this consultation. Hello? Crap, what do we do now? Who is it? Whoa. Whoa, hey. Good evening. I'm Deputy Leonard Oswald. And this is Deputy Travis Gibson. We are officers of the deceased. Officers of the what? The deceased flesh bag. You know, like dead people. We have reason to believe there's a highly dangerous spirit hiding in this location. Wait a minute. Back up. You're officers of the deceased? Yes, we're dead. We keep order among dead people. We arrest criminals who happen to be dead. So you're ghosts? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that's kind of a derogatory term. But yes, we're spirits. Bullcrab. Those I mean, people sure are dumb, aren't they? Shut up, man. They can hear you. All right. If we're not dead, then how can we do this? <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> oh my god. Believe us now, breathers. All right, all right. Like I said, we're here to catch that punk outlaw, not to scare you. Yeah, have you seen him? He looks like this. Oh, oh God, no. No, holy crap. He could also look like literally anything else. We believe he has the ability to change form. Well, there was this guy we saw that seemed to disappear. Must be him. Did he try to touch either of you? Shut up. Did he? No? Um, yeah, I think he tried to shake my hand. Good thing he didn't. You wouldn't be yourself anymore. What do you mean? Well, we suspect he's trying to possess one of you two. What? You see, us officers have ethereal radars that can detect evil apparitions. That's why we need to look here. Yeah, this guy we're dealing with, his name's Salem, and he's got quite the criminal record. Big Lee Outlaw. We figure he knows the radar will detect his presence, and the only way to get off the radar is by possessing a living person. One of you fleshies. As long as he's in your body, we'll have no way of finding him, and he'll get away. Not to mention, we'll have complete control over your soul. Basically, we'll all be screwed. So, how are we gonna stop him? Well, lucky for you, sweetheart, we got a plan. Yeah, we do. And, uh, not to toot our own horns, but it's probably the most genius plan in the entire history of the officers of the deceased. Oh, okay. You see, normal deceased officer procedure is to distance all living beings from potentially dangerous spirits. But we like to think outside the box. Exactly. So we decided we'd do something that Salem would never suspect. And that is? We're going undercover. Okay, how did you... Uh, okay, uh, so, so you're going undercover. And then what? We'll just hang around with you guys, and then 
when he shows up to possess one of us, we'll kick his butt! Uh-huh. And you're sure that'll work? Absolutely certain. All right, enough talking. Time to get to work. Boy, I sure do love being alive. I know, right? I've been alive my entire life. How about you? <laughs> Same here. I'm 100% alive. I can't believe this is happening. I know. They don't even seem remotely qualified. Plus, they've been stuck on the same level for two hours. But hey, they have aviators, so they must be legit. Why is the game black and white? Is it because they're ghosts or something? No, it's because they plugged AV into component. Look, I know the situation is weird to say the least, but trust me, we're both going to be fine. Even if these two can't help us, I'm not going to let anything happen to my little sister. What about you? I'll be okay. Trust me. I'm not going anywhere. Well, even before all this Beetlejuice crap started happening, if it was settled you weren't going to be around much longer. What do you mean I'm not going to be around anymore? I mean, you're going away to college soon. You've been here for me my whole life, and now it's just going to be me and Mom and Dad. It's going to be weird. Different, I guess. Amanda, just because I won't live here anymore doesn't mean I'm not going to be there for you. Trust me, it's going to weird me out that I'll be gone too, but I'll always be your brother no matter where I am. Oh. Oh. Yes! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Woo! Yes! This is ridiculous. Are you guys going to take care of our demon problem or just play video games all day? What don't you understand about Undercover? We are taking care of the demon problem. Yeah, just be patient. He'll show up eventually. Wouldn't it make more sense to just turn invisible or whatever and then wait for him to go after us? Would it work? Spirits can see each other through both the physical and ethereal planes, regardless of visibility to the human eye. Hmm, then how will we know when he's here? That's the thing. Salem is a master of disguise. He can take any form, any appearance he wants to, and he'll most certainly use it to his advantage. He'll do whatever it takes to lure you to him, so we cannot let anyone in this house until we know, without a doubt, he has been apprehended. If there's a knock at the door and it's your mom, don't answer it. If it's your cousin, don't answer it. If it's your therapist, lawyer, best friend, the mailman, do not open that door. You cannot trust anyone to be who they appear to be. Oh, hey, the pizza guy's here. The pizza guy? Yeah, we figured why not get some pizza while we're waiting. Yeah, man. I haven't had living person food in forever. Could you grab it for us? We're kind of in the middle of a game here. I, are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, you just said- Don't worry about it. We talked to this guy on the phone. He's definitely the pizza guy. This is the one exception to what I told you guys about. Well, who's gonna pay for it? Ah, crap. I totally forgot you have to pay for food when you're alive. Look, um, would you mind covering us on this one? I'll owe you big time. Fine, whatever. I got a large pepperoni here from Dimitri's Pizza. Dimitri's Pizza? That's like the most expensive place they could have ordered from. All right, how much is this gonna be? Well, actually, I don't accept cash, but I do accept souls. He took Justin! Wait, where's our pizza? Where's your pizza? What's wrong with you? Look, we're sorry, Well, How could you let this happen? Don't worry, we're, we're gonna take care of it. You have to save my brother. We will, we just- Are you two even real cops? No! No. We're not real cops. Excuse me? I mean, we were just- we got demoted, all right? We got demoted from officers because 
We're just a couple of screw-ups. We accidentally messed up a sting operation. A demon got away because of us. They said we couldn't be officers anymore, so they put us on radar watch instead. When we saw Salem pop up on the radar, we thought it could be an opportunity to prove we're good officers. If we could book a highly wanted outlaw, they'd have to give us our jobs back. So, instead of telling the officers of Salem's whereabouts like we were supposed to, we came here to bring them in ourselves. We're sorry. Well, sorry's not enough. You lied to us, and now that thing has my brother. I don't care who you are, but you better save him. Amanda, I promise you, we're not gonna mess up this time. We're gonna get him back. Yes. <laughs> you will make an excellent host. Let me go. Shh, just relax. The process has already begun. Soon we'll leave here together, just you and me. Excuse me! Sorry to interrupt, but uh, have either of you two seen a pizza around here? Never got our pizza. <laughs> You're an idiot. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm actually not an idiot. Yes, you are. In fact, you're also a... Uh... An undercover cop! Yeah, that's right. And what are you? Oh wait, I remember. You're under arrest! Come on, kid. Let's get you out of here. You think you can stop me? I've evaded cops far more capable, far more qualified than you. You're nothing! Nobody! I'm going to end you! Hey, Blondie. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> All right, you stay here. Oh, I've got... Gibson! I've got an idea. Wait, where are you? You're out of your league, kid. Now you're gonna learn what it's like to die twice. Sorry, but I've done enough learning for one day. Really, you're gonna have to try harder than that. What goes around, comes around. Ah, this is useless. I've already begun the possession process, and in a short time I'll be sharing a body with that boy's soul. The only way to get me out is to kill him. Not if we take you back to the ethereal plane before you finish the possession. <laughs> Good luck with that. I've been dead for 2,000 years. If the entirety of the officers of the deceased couldn't catch me in that time, what makes you two amateurs think you could stand a chance? I guess we didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Not alone, at least. Craig. <laughs> Stay down. That's all it took? Solve? Yeah. That was almost disappointingly easy. You did good, kid. You did good. You can't hold me. Soon I'll escape these restraints. And when I do, I'll... Shut up. Well, you two should be safe now. Thank you for everything. Hey, you're the one who saved us. But we're happy to have helped. Yeah, thank you. All of you. I don't know what would have happened to me if you guys hadn't stopped them. Probably a lot of really horrific stuff. <laughs> You'd be trapped in a state of relentless pain, stuck as a helpless witness, while Salem uses your body to commit acts so incredibly uh, horrifying. Gibson, that's quite enough. Well, for what it's worth, I hope you guys get your jobs back. Thanks, but that doesn't matter. What's important is that you're both safe, and what happens to us now, 
Just happens. We'll be happy either way. Well, we better get him back to the station. It's been nice working with you two. I'd say hope to see you soon, but that'd mean you're dead. Stay safe. Thanks, we will. Stay dead. We will. See, Amanda? You didn't even need me at all. You're gonna be just fine while I'm gone. Well, what do you say we get some dinner? Sure, what you thinking? Mm, I don't know. How about Dimitri's Pizza? <laughs> Shut up. Ghosts in your house or apartment? It are things falling over randomly for no good reason? Must be ghosts! Is stinky, smelly, slimy ectoplasm appearing out of nowhere? Ectoplasm again must be ghosts. Well, I can help you. Do we got it? For just the low, low price of $35, I can give you a professional consultation. What's a professional ghost consultation, you might ask? Well, I will listen to what you have to say about the ghosts. Just maybe send me a couple photos and videos or give me a call and I'll be like, you have a ghost or you don't have a ghost and you're fine. Is that really all we do here? Yeah. Okay. Stafford Paranormal Investigation. We get the ghosts the most. 